For anyone who was around and following the O.J. Simpson saga in the mid-90s, yesterday's parole hearing was a denouement of sorts. And for the media, a throwback to a time when story obsession and saturation coverage was, well, much simpler. It was a chance for all the networks to rerun that infamous Bronco chase in the hours after Nicole Simpson and her friend Ron Goldman were found stabbed to death outside her Brentwood home. Everybody loves you. Don't do this. I know you're thinking. Oh. After weeks and months of almost nonstop coverage of the Trump administration and its Russian ties, the networks took a break. Kind of a back to the future moment. This is a CBS News special report. This is an ABC News special report. The O.J. Simpson parole hearing. Several outlets carried the proceedings live. CNN even picked up O.J., current media critic, complaining about bogus prison stories. Complete fraud. Since Simpson met all the criteria for parole, his release came as no surprise. Still, the old gang of celebrity attorneys were back, some expressing outrage. He was convicted and pleaded guilty to beating his wife. When the final parole board member gave her nod of approval, Simpson showed great relief. So now... Does he mean it when he says this? I'm not looking to be involved with the media. I've done my time. And in a way, so have we. Yeah, there was some pushback and complaints in various uh, columns today. Jamie Jamie Foxx from uh, Northeastern University thought this was a a total overkill. But, you know, for anybody who was around in in the 90s and saw that day-to-day trial coverage that went on, I think it was seven months, if I'm not mistaken. Eleven months. Was it 11? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. you know, this was totally justifiable, I think, to put this. And we, everybody knew, essentially, he was going to be uh, released. But I, I kept thinking back about how, all, how much has changed in, in uh, really the 22 years since that murder occurred. And then just in the, in the nine years since he's been in jail, you know, that he, he probably was overcharged for that crime, overcommitted for that crime. Everybody knows why. And... People have had such short memories, but none, none of us do because we're all around for that. This was a this was a necessary, I think, um, finishing point to this. Although I don't know if we have heard from the last of, of him or not. I think you used the right word, the denouement to this, this the O.J. Simpson story, as we've really seen in uh, the past year. It's a story not just about O.J. Simpson or about that case. It's a story about a point in time, yeah. about the country, about the culture, about celebrity meeting uh, crime. Uh, it's about justice uh, or injustice. There were so many elements, and um, and and O.J. J- became in just uh, the vehicle for that to be told, and um, uh, and it, it, it had there had to be a moment where there could be perhaps a resolution to it. May not be. We may see. O.J. Simpson may pop up in further trouble. Who knows? Uh, there may be other shoes to drop. Uh, who knows what will happen to him as he goes forward. But this at least brought that story, I think, to a point where people say, okay, we can close the mm-hmm. chapter. Yeah, and this case was not just another salacious tabloid moment that the media feasted on and then moved on to the next brunch. I mean, it, you mentioned the... Uh, 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 issues of a celebrity or a celebrity obsession, the injustice of the justice system, domestic violence. Mm-hmm. This was a seminal mm-hmm. moment in the yeah. public awareness of that. And, of course, the, the uh, brutal racism of the Los mm-hmm. Angeles police. Uh, the, I, I can't possibly explain this anywhere approaching the way the excellent ESPN documentary O.J. Made in America did. But, you know, this came in the wake of the Rodney King uh, mm-hmm. beating and the riots. And it galloped. And then then the stark racial divide and the reaction to his acquittal. Uh, Memorable, memorable historic moments, well worth reviving and rehashing given this Mm. new news hook. I I think one of the reasons that the O.J. Simpson trial still resonates so much today is that the trial itself kind of put an end to live TV coverage of trials. Yeah, it did. Uh, yeah. Because Judge Lance Ito came right. under so much yeah. criticism for grandstanding yeah. for the camera. It Unfortunately, it proved that the cameras really do have an effect on the trial. And as a result, we've seen very little of that. Maybe that one, but I don't think you could say that. No, but, well, I would like to see cameras in the courtroom. But as a result of the OJ trial, we haven't seen too much of it since then. Um, I think it's Judge Ito lost control of his courtroom. I think that's what you saw with the cameras there, and and everybody would agree with that. Um, 
Ezra Edelman's documentary, O.J. Made in America, put all of this stuff in context. Uh, and it's interesting coming full circle at Jay-Z's new, you know, off the charts uh, album for um, 44. He has a whole O.J. saga in there, which speaks, reminds people that O.J. said, I'm not black, I'm O.J. Well, I got news for him. When he moves to Florida, yeah. he's in Stand Your Ground. He's black. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll be very interesting to me to see how yeah. that, how he manages, because, of course, he's going to end up in media somewhere. So I'm interested to see how he will be picked up, how he'll be perceived, and how he conducts just living day to day. Um, he was overcharged for Maybe this. Maybe it's not but, the denouement. Uh, I don't think it is. Um, and by the way, the Goldmans were on CBS this morning, oh, and gosh. they said yeah. they are they didn't get all the money no, that they got. It, very they, little. They were owed for the civil case, so they're going to make sure that yeah. that's something Because he apparently does have money somewhere. $25,000 yeah. a month he gets in yeah. pension. Yeah, pension, yeah, yeah but yes. they can't get that. Yes, right. I know.